news for December 9th, 2015. I'm Anthony Hamilton. In today's news, Liliana Brown will bring us the news on Demi Lovato's new album, Dr. Dre's Comeback, and the new name chosen for the newest Kardashian, and Robert Turner will tell us about the Warriors' winning streak. All that and more on Chabot News. The city has settled a use of force lawsuit with a man who said he was assaulted by a police officer last summer. According to court documents, the city agreed in late October to pay Mauricio Alejandro Moreno $6,000 in relation to his brutality complaint. Moreno was walking down Thelma Street on July 12, 2014, when he was approached by a police officer, according to the lawsuit. This individual definitely exercised too much force, said Luis Romero, who represented Moreno. And now to Esme, live in Hayward. A 32-year-old man was fatally shot in Hayward on Monday night, according to police, in the 2800 block of Biscayne Avenue near Roos Elementary School. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The victim's name has not yet been released by the Alameda County Coroner's Borough. The suspect in the shooting was described as a man in his late 20s, early 30s, with light-colored skin, who is 5 feet 7 inches tall, heavy set, and wore a black zip-up hooded sweatshirt and black jeans, according to police. Reporting live for Chevaux TV, my name is Esme Bautista. Back to you, News. Thanks, Esme. A wealthy man and environmental activist by the name of Douglas Tompkins on Tuesday, he was boating with five other foreigners when their kayaks capsized in a lake in southern Chile. Tompkins died in the intensive care unit of the hospital in Coihaik. The cause of his death was stated to be hypothermia. Tompkins was the 72-year-old co-founder of the North Face, an e-spirit clothes company. Chile's army said strong waves on General Carrera Lake caused the group's kayaks to capsize. A military patrol boat rescued three of the boaters and a helicopter lifted out the other three, it said. After retiring in 1989, Tompkins was a very active environmentalist. He created a stretch of wildlife in Chile on over 700,000 acres of land. He named this place Pumalin Park. Experts agree that society plays a vital role in college students' caffeine consumption. This want and need for caffeine can be serious health implications. However, withdrawal symptoms from caffeine can be uncomfortable and range from migraines to depression. Science book authors Mitchell Moffitt and Greg Brown warn that with long-term use, more caffeine is required to elicit the same response. Personal trainer Vernon Carding re recommends people to strive for balance. Coffee is about 5.5 pH, so to offset that, it's important to drink lots of water, which has higher pH, and eat lots of vegetables. Carding advises people to cut back slowly and compensate by drinking lots of water. Up next is Liliana with the entertainment news. Thanks, Anthony. Demi Lovato just released her fifth studio album called Confident. In this new album, as an individual as an, and as an artist, for only being 23 years old, Demi has been through a lot in her life. She has been in recovery for alcohol, drugs, eating disorders for three years. When listening to the album, you hear countless amounts of music influences. Whereas in previous albums, it sounded like a pop rock album. Demi's first single off this album was Cool for the Summer. The song was perfect for, for the first single to lead with because it's a fun and sexy song. The album is a fun, sexy, and p powerful piece of work. Besides being a part of one of the year's most talked about movies straight out of Compton, Dr. J has finally come back to the music world and dropped his newest album titled Compton. Featuring a wealth of hip-hop favorites as well as new talents, Compton is a thrilling hip-hop album by one of the genre's most important figures. It may have taken 16 years for the doctor to finally drop an album, then Matt, but man, was it worth the wait? All eyes were on Kim Kardashian and Kanye West to name their second child as unique a name as their firstborn, Northwest, and the famous couple definitely didn't disappoint. The Keeping Up With Kardashian star announced earlier this week that she and her rapper husband named their son Saint West, and also revealed that the little bundle of joy weighed in at 8 pounds and 1 ounce. Saint was picked since it's akin to saying he is a blessing, especially because she had such a difficult pregnancy. Back to you, Anthony. There seems to be a general consensus about the community college culture, implications about those who attend them and the colleges in general. 
Those who go from their senior years of high school straight to a four-year college are recognized as successful and worthy of many other such titles. But those who make the decision to take a bunch different path are viewed critically, seen as failing short in comparison to their four-year attendant peers. Today, community college is more applicable than ever. The average out-of-state tuition premium increased from $13,338 in 2013 to 2014 to $13,819 in 2014-2015. And that number climbs more and more every year. Community college has become the more practical of two choices, both for financial concerns and for students who are not as sure in the direction they want to take their lives. They can take their time with deciding their major and gauging their interests in a way that cannot be done by someone under a four-year limit straight out of high school. Simply put, the community college experience isn't recognized as it truly is, a both practical and auspicious opportunity. Up next is Bobby with the sports report. Thanks, Anthony. On November, November 21st, Chabot hosted a tournament that considered great matches to put on the West List from Chabot, Skyline, San Ramon, and Modesto Junior Colleges. Doreen Bench took a loss in his 174-pound weight class for Chabot, losing to Stephen Martin, a Skyline student, in what was great technical contest. In the 134-pound weight class, Chabot Darren Nugent took on Chabot's Kyrie Mackey. Nugent beat his teammate by pinfall with via cradle. Uh, Doug Terry from Jabot Wrestling in the 184 weight class against Morgan Smith from Skyline for third and fourth place. Unfortunately, Terry lost to Smith by pinfall, taking fourth place overall. For the fifth straight year, Chabot College team won the conference title and played in the postseason poll game, achieving five conference titles in difficulty to do, especially since you have only two years in community college. This year, Gladiators went all the way to the North, Northern California Finals and lost a close one to City College of San Francisco, 40-30. to 30. The word juggernaut was thrown around and rightly so after five straight conference titles. But now it's time to take a step and win the state championship to complete the juggernaut tag. Coach Callan and staff have done an amazing job over the last five years and deserve all the, the condolences they have come in this season. Again, congratulations to the football team and go Gladiators. Clay Thompson and his teammates spent five since the first three quarters playing flawlessly at they, their unbeaten record. They spent the last 12 minutes Tuesday trying to protect their perfect quest. Thompson scored a season high 39 points, and the reigning MVP Stephen Curry contributed to the outslaw of 29 points and 10 assists. The Warriors approved a 23 0 by stopping the Indiana's fourth quarter comeback and holding for a 134 to 123 victory. Thompson made a splash with his incredible first half. He scored 29 points, made of 8 of 10 threes, and was a key to the 22-0 run to force Indiana 12-8 to play catch-up for the rest of the night. A defending NBA chance have made things pretty easily in what already has been a milestone season. This is for, that's it for this week for Report. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Robert. On December 19, 2015, from 1 to 4 p.m., the Douglas Morrison Theater will host an open house to welcome the community inside for some good cheer and fun in celebration of the holiday season. Santa Claus will be in residence all afternoon and children of all ages are invited to stop by and share their wish list. DMT's open house is a free event. Information is also available at www.dmtonline.org. Well, that's it for Chabot News this week. Thanks to all the students and staff in the Mass Communications Department here at Chabot College for making this live production possible. You can watch us anytime online at ChabotTV.net. Good luck to all on your finals and happy holidays. Stay tuned to KCTH 27 on Comcast for more Chabot TV.